Welcome back to the Morning Blend. Well, kids in baseball, it's so much more than learning the rules of competition. It's about building character. It's about being a good teammate, good sportsmanship. You know, we often hear the term Little League and mm -hmm. think that it applies to any youth baseball program. I thought it did, but in reality, Little League was founded by an act of Congress and is now the world's largest youth baseball organization, and all the coaches are volunteers. So here with some reasons that you should be thinking about Little League right now is Carm Polizzi and Mr. James Beckham. Welcome to the Morning Blend, you guys. Thank you. Well, thank great you. to see you. Yeah. I think this is great to have you here. I didn't realize that not all youth baseball was, all of it wasn't um, Little League. What, what, what's the differentiation? Is it the volunteers? Well, it is part of the volunteers, but what it's about is that Little League Inc. is, as you said, it's over 75 years old. Mm -hmm. All right, it's been here. It offers support to all the Little Leagues all across the nation and all across the world, plus support to its coaches and umpires. Yeah. It's the largest youth baseball organization in the world. Um, so that uh, the way that you can tell that your child belongs to Little League or any player is the patch on the left sleeve that says Little League. And uh, it is a wonderful program, and um, I, that's why I've been involved with it for over 25 years. It's its own brand, it really. It is, correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. And correct. I get that both of you are totally biased, but is there anything better than a Little League baseball game? No. <laughs> right? <laughs> Go on. <laughs> because it's, it's, it's the beginning of everything. Yeah. Even your guys who play in professional baseball, great deal of them came through Little League. Yeah, yeah. And they could be successful, and that's what Little League can still do. We can still promote them to be successful baseball players, be successful businessmen. Yeah. So it's a great, it's a great program. A lot of people know uh, the name James Beckham from Parks, from a park that was named after you. Yes. That you've been involved in um, coaching for for what? How many years? Over fifty years? Well, I've been doing for fifty-one years. Fifty-one years. Yeah. What got you started in coaching Little League, and why have you stuck with it for so long? Well, my pastor is the one who got me involved with this. Your pastor? Yeah, he was telling me that the kids was getting into a lot of trouble, and they were trying to play ball in the alley. And and he said they were getting chased off the baseball field and stuff like that. And I had to tell him, I said, well, that's true. Of course, I'd probably be one of the guys who chased him off the baseball field <laughs> because I was still playing baseball at the time. And, and I told him it takes an adult to get a permit. And he told me, I want you to be that guy to get the permit for these kids. Really? So you did it? You got a permit? Yeah. And started coaching? Yeah. Why, why have you given it up already? Given it up? Who said I was giving it up? <laughs> <laughs> what keeps you going? I mean, you're still, I mean, I, we, there was a news story um, mm -hmm. where they profiled you. You're still out there, you know, pressing the flesh and, and, and mm -hmm. on the fields and, and, you know, overseeing things. Well, you know, it's, it's, it's the joy that you see out there and then the kids come and they expect to see a good field in good shape. And they depend if I don't do the field, you know, they don't think it's going to be in good shape. I want the field to be in good shape, you know. Mm -hmm. I look at the kids just like the Milwaukee Brewers, you know. Milwaukee Brewers are not going to play on no bad field, so I don't nope. want my kids on no bad field. Yeah. Okay. So I think they're just in part of it, too. The difference is they're training, the Brewers is up the level, you know. But the game is still, it looks like make some good plays just like the Brewers make good plays. I love mm -hmm. that. You'd what are you surprised. most proud of? You know, after after all these years and coaching so many kids who've grown into adults, I'm sure you've heard a lot of people say different things to you over the years, but what are you most proud of? Well, I'm proud of the kids, you know, when they come through the Little League program, they learn how to get along with one another. Mm -hmm. They respect one another, you know. And the, and, and the game is, you know, it's not a, that you have to win all the time. You have to be a good loser as well as a good winner. You're a better winner once so, you've lost a few so, times, so don't you mm -hmm. think? You need to go and congratulate the other team, you know. Mm -hmm. And this is what it's all about, you know. It's a love game, you know. You play Little League. If it's not Little League, it's not fun. Mm -hmm. It's a fun game. You're supposed to enjoy yourself when you're out there, you know. You're excited and you cheer the other kid along when they make good plays. And when they make good plays, I cheer along because I tell you, <laughs> that's, that's something to see when you see a good play. Yeah, yeah. I know, right? Yeah. Nothing that like age. seeing a double play, <laughs> in my opinion. Those are awesome. <laughs> and what about the philosophy of Little League? Because that's kind of what we're talking about. Well, yeah, philosophy, and, and Mr. Beckham's league basically demonstrates that it's about community. Mm -hmm. uh, that Little League is always there. Uh, Little League is a place where your children play, but chances are that your children's children will play there as well. And a perfect example of that is Craig Council. Uh, he started out at Whitefish Bay Little League, mm -hmm. and his children play in Whitefish Bay Little League right now. 
So it's about community. It's about always being there. It's about everyone has an opportunity to play. Uh, by Little League rule, uh, every child plays at least two innings of a six-inning game. And in our district, District 1, uh, most leagues uh, require that the child plays half the game. Um, it's an idea of instilling the qualities of leadership, character, uh, loyalty, and uh, courage into those children uh, and everything that we do. And that's why uh, we've, we've been here such a long time with Little League because we believe in the program, believe in the kids. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think sports and arts uh, combined, those two things teach kids so much outside of the classroom Agreed. and about life. You know, when it, a lot of parents uh, are concerned about safety for young kids mm -hmm. playing sports, you know, whether it be for, for their arms, you know, their bodies, their heads, you know, with pitches. Are there safety concerns that Little League addresses for kids? Yes, it does. As a matter of fact, Little League has been on the forefront of the safety of ball players. Mm -hmm. uh, when a child pitches, their uh, Little League requires pitch counts that every team uh, charts every pitch. And as a result of the number of pitches, there's a maximum in each game that they can throw. And then a as a result of the number of pitches that they throw, then they have required days of rest. Mm -hmm. We have breakaway bases that are required so that when a child slides into a base, it breaks away and can avoid uh, injury. Um, mm -hmm. We Little League looks at all the bats that are made, and there's a list of prohibited bats because they don't meet Little League standards. And then on top of it, every Little League is required to do background checks on all its volunteers. Mm -hmm. So safety is uh, number one in uh, Little League's uh, priorities. Yeah, I think a lot of parents appreciate that. Yeah. One of the things that we talked about is that it's all volunteers, including the coaches. I think sometimes they should get paid <laughs> for yeah. putting up with parents. <laughs> um, but, but I think that's part of what makes it so wonderful is that the, the kids who play Little League, their parents are, are often the coaches and it's all volunteer. It is, there's no payment, um, everyone volunteers. I, I believe that it is a lot of time that you put in. I put in a lot of time, I put in a lot of time coaching. Mr. Beckham has put in a lot of time coaching. He was but the I'm Volunteer of the Year this last year. Yes, 2015 he was. for yes, the Urban Initiative League. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and the number of hours you put in, to me, you get double if not tenfold back in everything that you receive and once you volunteer in Little League. It is a family and it is different and I think that's why we've been involved in all, all this time. What about people who, who need to register, maybe mm -hmm. they've played before, or people who've never registered before, but they saw you guys and they're like, I'd really like my, my son or daughter to be able to play. How do you go about registering? Because there are different districts and how do you know which district you're in? There, there are in Wisconsin, there's six districts. Southeastern mm -hmm. Wisconsin, it's District 1, and I'm the district administrator for District 1, and Mr. Beckham's league is in District 1. And District 6 covers southern Milwaukee County, together with Racine and Kenosha. Um, you can go to littleleague.org, mm -hmm. and they have a league finder. You put in your zip code, um, and then it should tell you which league uh, you belong to. Plus, we have our websites, which I believe will... Yep, Maybe we'll give here. all that. Yeah, yep, in exactly. That area. So, um, and we did put in. I, I went to the website and tried putting in my zip code just to see which district I would fall in, and it says this site will tell you starting, you know, revisit again on January fourth. But if Monday, people, yep. which is this Monday, yeah. So if people go to littleleague.org, mm -hmm. you can put in your your zip code to find out what district you're in. But there's a whole lot of other great information available on the yeah. website talking about the philosophy and a lot of other things, which is wonderful. And you need to register what in January, February? Most leagues are registering in January and February, but a lot of leagues take registrations through March and even up to the beginning of the season. So just call, click, or whatever you want to do to uh, find your league. Congratulations on all your great work as a coach, too, Mr. Beckham. Well, thank you. Yeah, yeah. pleasure to meet you. Thanks, both of you. Keep for it up. Being another 50 years. Well, yeah. we, got, we got to bring the World Series back here. You what? We got to bring the World Series back here. Bring yeah, the World exactly. Series back. That's right. That's right. I like yes. that. Uh -huh. Thanks yeah. to both yeah. of you. Thanks, we you guys. appreciate it. Happy New yeah. Year. Yeah.